Hey guys, it's Ron. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing good on this terrific Thursday. Um, I'm doing great. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Much love to you. Loving blessings. Namaste. If you are a returning sub, um, love. Namaste. And loving blessings to you. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you know when I'm going to upload my next video. Um, today my video is about twin flame one on one. I, before I even start that, I hope everybody is doing good today. Um, today my video is about twin flame one on one. What does my my dad mean to you? Uh, where were you at when you first found out of this passing? Um, how has he influenced your life? With me, he has influenced a lot. You know, he he has helped me heal <laughs> so much. So, so much. Um, because going on this journey, it was, it was really, it, it's still, it, it's a journey. <laughs> it, it's a ride. Um, when I look back at his passing, it, it, it brings up a lot of emotions other than just grief. Um, brings back a lot of memories. Um, like, two or three years prior, on and off, like, for months, I kept having these dreams that, you know, um, that a, a dark figure that I kept calling daddy, uh, was collapsing. They, I didn't know if they died or anything, but I just seen them go out in their chest and they just collapsed. And I always kept waking up. And then, a few days before his passing, I kept having these dreams, and I was telling my friends, you know, look, um, I'm having nightmares again, it's just about this, it's going to be a celebrity, and when it, when it pops up, nobody's not going to believe it, they're going to think it's a hoax, and, you know, it's just, just going to really mess up a lot of people, and the last time I had a dream like that, it was like two weeks prior before Whitney Houston passed away, and my friends were like, you know, the last time you told me about this, is just with Whitney. Houston passed away, and like, oh man, you know, who is it, who is it, you know, I'm like, I don't know, and it was just like a few days after that, you know, I started having a dream again, I was on my, my friend, I was just like, look, I'm having these dreams again, but they were more intensified, it's like, now, it's like a father figure to me, and I, she was like, who's a father figure, you know, I'm just like, I like a lot of people, but it, it was just like, I wasn't putting two and two together at the time, and Next thing you know, I was having dreams, and it was like this, these big, huge metal doors, and um, it was a spotlight on it, and when the spotlight was on it, um, all these weird notifications keep popping up on the screen, I'm sorry, um, the door would shut, and I would see the shadow figure again grabbing his chest, and I was screaming, and I heard somebody else scream too, but the scream sounded familiar, but I was just, you know, the scream, the scream matched up with the face, and I just kept screaming and saying, Daddy, Daddy, please open the door, please, 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 and I just woke up, like, drenched in sweat, screaming, like, Daddy, please don't be dead, and, you know, my ex was just like, are you okay, and I just kept on having dreams that, you know, my daddy was gonna die, and I asked my doctor, Dad, I'm like, are you okay, and um, and then, um, he was just like, I'm fine, I'm fine, stop worrying about me, you know, we all got a ass and blah, 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 and it was just like, we were celebrating 420 at the time, and it was just like, what's wrong, and I was just like, something's not right, you know, even that whole day when I was at work, you know, I was just having these chest days, and I'm like, you're okay, and it's just like, no, nothing's not right, something's not right, you know, um, and then I had to go to the store later on that day after work, and next thing you know, I hear somebody coming through the door and saying, you know, the black girl's really got to have a fit, you know, the king of pop, you know, not the king of pop, but um, the prince of pop, or prince of rock and roll, whatever he had said, it's passed away. And they were like, who is that? <laughs> it was just like, you know, the prince of pop, oh my god, prince, I'm like, no, 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 no. You know, whatever. You know, I'm trying to hear everything out of the store and, you know, try not to make a scene and, and ran and called my ex boyfriend and I was just like, you know, did you hear? Did you hear? He's like, yeah, I heard. And, you know, it's supposed to be a hoax or whatever. You know, he looked it up or whatever. It's like it's a hoax. 
And then I said, well, no, when I looked up, you know, I couldn't get it fast enough. I couldn't go home fast enough. And I looked it up and I was just crying. I said, no, it's, it's true. It's true. It was just like, you know, he died in the elevator and I wasn't putting two and two together. I, I was having a dream about somebody being in the elevator. And, you know, listening to his music, it does so much for me. And it makes me look at it a different way after, you know, knowing so many years, like certain songs that I used to hear on the radio or came on a video channel or something like that the kids put out and I was just like dang and then it's like now when I'm finally knowing the truth there's a lot of songs that I can relate to and I look at it differently and it's been a lot to heal and you know to deal with and you know out of this tragedy I got to look at the fact that two or three days before that I had talked to him and didn't realize that it was him I was talking to. I just so happened to go to my adopted father's house and just so happened to hear my stepmom on the phone with somebody on the speakerphone and I'm just like, you know, whoever that is sounds sick. You know, I'm just like, good gosh. And I was coming around the corner and I'm like, hey, I'm here. And then they got real quiet and she was just like, you know, I was just like, hey, what you doing or whatever, and got into a conversation. She was like, oh, before we get into a conversation, I got somebody I need you to talk to, you know, one of my patients or whatever. And she was a, um, she was a character, she's a caregiver. So I'm just like, the last person I talked to that, you know, I knew because I worked with them, taking them back and forth to their doctor's appointments, was one of her patients and stuff like that. So, you know, she had passed on, God rest her soul, but. I'm, that's the only one I, she would ever let me talk to. She never asked me to talk to anybody. I'm listening to my dad's song, Joy of Repetition, um, while I'm talking about him. That's, like, that's one of my my favorite songs that I like to listen to. And um, knowing that I talked to him and his voice was like really, you know, like when you have this little like strep throat really bad and it was like really cracky and stuff like that, you can feel like death in the room, and I just didn't want to say that, but, you know, I just try to keep positive hope on whoever the other person is on the other end of the line, I pray that they get better, and, um, it, it, it really did something to me, just to know, like, wow, you guys can talk to your dad a few days before you passed, and, you know, it, it, it was, it can be a source of it to me at the time, because that was the actual time. The last time I got to talk to my dad, not even knowing that he was my dad, and that was something I had to deal with. And it, it became a, a process day by day of healing and knowing the truth. And that was a lot, that still is a lot of things I deal with. And it, it, it's a process. And when I go on Facebook and stuff like that and see different pages I'm with that it has something to do with him or my team or Jill Jones or Vanity or something like that. Um, it was this one post that really stuck out to me when um, one of the people in the group was talking about that we to my dad's song way back home, which is one of my songs, my favorite songs that, you know, is about me and him and everything about me knowing the truth and how he's trying to find his way back home, his way back to God, his way back home. And, um, and I was telling him, you know, he didn't, uh, not really saying who I was and who I was to him, because a lot of people in the group don't really know me. They don't know about me unless you look, you know, look at my, you know, my, um, my, my page, and then it has a whole lot of pictures of me and my dad together, you know, side by side or whatever, and that's the only way you'll know, but other than that, I really don't come out and say that. The only thing I said really was about the time when um that uh on my page where I had brown marks and me and my team in pictures together and stuff like that and I was talking about it. But other than that I really haven't came out to different pages unless you know me. Um and that's how we connected. I really haven't said anything about it. So it's just the way I feel and knowing, you know, I tell my dad all the time, it's just like, you know, daddy, how do I heal from this? I don't really know everything. 
and it's just like then you just you know get the answers as they come along you know I, I, I receive more and more signs and more and more information every day when I look up different things and different songs and stuff like that and it's like my dad sent me a message through those because it was just like growing up I wasn't really able to listen to his music unless like my mom was sneaking and let me listen to it or my sister was or he just so happened to come on the radio or you know, on TV, like BET or MTV or something like that, that was the only way I could do it, but if my dad, my doctor dad was wrong, I couldn't listen to it, so, um, because like he told me I started becoming obsessive over it, so, we either, all the albums that my dad was sending, every time he made an album, my sister had to either take them, or my dad, like, threw them away, but, it, he, my dad really did a lot for me spiritually, um, even though we were separated physically, you know, we weren't able to reunite again. I mean, things are getting better. And I know I, I'm becoming a better person because of this. And even though I, I feel like it's, it takes a strong person to really heal from not exactly having all the answers that you can possibly know to get you know, where you need to be mentally and emotionally. But um, there are things are starting to unfold for me and all that stuff. So I would like to know how you guys felt about that and um, what, how he meant to you and how he, does he still mean to you? I would love to know all that. You know, all these comments I've been getting so much is, is just been really good. And they're really appreciated because it makes me feel like, you know what, you're growing as a person. You, you're healing, even though it's hard to understand how is this my dad, you know, well, you know how I can be your dad, but, you know, how come this is just now coming out, and every, every time, everything has their timing on the reason why they come out the way they do, I, I can't answer questions, it's just like I told you guys in my other videos, you know, I've tried different things, um, because of my birth state in Oklahoma, um, is so strict about different things that they, they let out about adoptions. It, it took me a long time to get. And especially with my family, you know, having all the information that the ones that are still living, it wouldn't give me anything. So I, everything I had to do was um, on my own. So it was just more things I got to know about myself. And it was just like my dad said it from the beginning that the fields weren't going to be pretty. And I was just like, dang, am I going crazy or something? Yeah, then, then come to find out that when the secret hit me, it just hit me like somebody just hit me in the stomach, like really bad. And I just, I thought I was going to be sick. And I actually, I think I did get sick a couple of times when I knew the truth. But now looking at the videos I did from now, and, you know, from then, from when I first started. And so now I'm just like, wow. You have pain so far, and you have healed so much, even though it, it was just like I had to do my video because I was crying. And I was just like, you know what, you can't do this, you know, you have to let it go, even though death is a very painful thing, and we all go through it over so of life. But I guess it's just the way you had to get the truth when it was too late, and I guess that's just something that was hard for me to swallow. Just to know that she happened. But it's neither here or there. You know, it's just when it comes to the past, we have to learn how to let things go and um, move on and heal from them. So, but I'm not going to hold you guys up and I hope you enjoyed this video. And please like and subscribe, hit the notification button. And most likely, please, not most likely, but please go ahead and write some comments and let me know how you feel. And it would be greatly appreciated, and I try to answer all my comments, you know, because uh, sometimes on YouTube, you don't get them until late, because I can go through them, I'm like, wait a minute, that wasn't there before. But, um, I will talk to you guys later. Much love to you. Bye.